Hey everybody, BL here. Uh, sorry to say that because of uh, certain problems, things happening, um, because I'm a big stupid idiot who forgot to unmute his mic, I have to do post commentary, so I'm terribly sorry. We're going to Snowball Mountain. Catch some more monkeys. Some very important monkeys, too. And a bunch of monkeys who love to run around with guns and shit. I don't know. Yeah. Not much to say. Oh yeah, except I wanted to show that off. That's a, a body slam move I learned of. It's basically when you run and then press the R1 and R2 buttons at the same time. Apparently only Jimmy can do it because he's the only one stupid enough to trip over, over his laces that hard. Ugh. God, I hate Wax Owl. God, do I hate Wax Owl. Wax Owl is just a bitch. Just a mean-spirited individual. Just won't do anything for anyone. He doesn't believe in Christmas. He wants to melt the snow. He wants to destroy Frosty. Are you going to stand for that? Are you going to stand for Wax Owl destroying Frosty? I don't think so. Also, bowling for penguins doesn't really work. I mean, it seems pretty cool, but uh, it really isn't. Not entirely. That phone just talks about when you're on ice and you start slipping, jump to regain your trajectory, your friction, crap like that. whoop de freaking do oh look, it's a black monkey. And I just... Yeah. Raver with a machine gun. Right, I'm sure. Because everybody raves while wearing sunglasses. I actually don't know what ravers do. I don't go out and rave. I'm not a techno person. I just don't like techno. Though I did, though I will say, I d enjoyed the f earlier game's music, Ape Escape 1's music, more than this. This game's music isn't bad, but the other's more enjoyable. And of course, I've got to go raiding presents because I'm Jimmy. I'm a little brat and I have to have everything. I'm like Jiminy Creek. Creek. Creek or something. Oh yeah, I'm trying to exp I'm trying to explain uh, how you can do that. Uh, basically, to do that jump up and attack move, all you do is just all you do is just like g get into army crawl position and then press R2 or R1, whichever. So that's a pretty cool move, actually. I like that a lot. It's very useful for when you're sneaking up on monkeys and you're trying to catch them with the net or something. Don't know how it'd be useful if you had like the super hoop or the friggin' RC car on. I mean. Why would you bust your controller over a monkey's head? Whatever. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, and look. And here I try to demo it, but obviously he's got a laser gun, so he's fucking superior to me and my stealthy abilities. But he's not superior to me and my reckless abilities, like the rest of these guys. They just can't stand up to me when I'm not paying attention, not trying to be defensive or tactical or anything like that. I just go by gut instinct. Anyway, <gasps> what's that? Is that a reindeer sleigh up there? Could it be? Monkey Claws! Oh boy, Monkey Claws, can I have a PlayStation 3 and a Batmobile? And can I have a bowling pin alley right in my room, even though my room's really small? Can I have a high-definition plasma screen TV that's like 100 inches wide and it will spread across my wall? In fact, could you turn my wall into a plasma screen, Santa Claus? That would be very, very cool. I'd love to have that, even though I'd probably trip and bust my head into it. No? One thing I have to say to that. Ho ho ho! Bitch. Try to get that crap. And he's got bombs and he's very, very quick and easy to... He's bombs and he's actually pretty damn quick. He's a hard monkey to catch. It's somewhat, but uh... 
that's only if you're paying attention to the coins, which I was, of course, because it was a big jumble of coins. You know, could you imagine if currency multiplied like that in real life? Like, you go and pick up five... Like, you go and pick up a string of five pennies, and then there's more pennies in front of you, and those turn into nickels. You could just spill your coins all over your room, and then just walk over them, and you'd be rich. How would that be for commerce? That would send the economy into a tailspin. <laughs> oh, but you guys don't know what economy's about. That's what you watch the smart LPers for. You don't watch me for that, no. I love doing that. You run by the monkeys in the snowmobile and they do that little spinny animation and then there's some douchebag who's stuck in a snowball. Because apparently he doesn't know how to ski quite well. And you don't want to let him get over... The, you don't want to let him get into the uh, that little igloo there because then that'll take him all the way back up top. And that would drive you crazy because then you'd have to wait for them to ski back down because they're on a ski vacation. Why are you interrupting their ski vacation? They don't seem to be doing anything particularly bad. Apparently these monkeys are supposed to be pretty damn naughty, but they're not doing anything. They're just enjoying a vacation. Why can't you respect that? What are you doing? Jimmy! Why are you ruining the monkey's good time? Monkeys should be allowed to ski too. I mean, what's the big deal? And there was a monkey I missed. Oh yeah, check out Jimmy's dancing skills. Oh Jimmy, just wait till you grow up. You will get a ton of pussy with those skills. But that's only when you grow up and you don't have Ash's voice. Yeah, having Ash's voice will automatically counteract that um, mad dancing skill you have. I'm sorry, it's the truth. You can't, you, you just can't get pussy if you're Ash. Unless it's some bitchy redhead. In which case, you'd have to do Natalie, but no one wants to do Natalie. No one. She's a washed up old hag. Everyone agrees. I don't care if you disagree random person who disagrees with me to be an asshole, but I dis- I don't allow you to disagree. I love how his skiing barely even changes. I thought he'd get turned into a snowball after being run over by a snowball. I'm just... Eh. Oh, check this out. Awkward! Just gets run over by a snowball and nothing happens. Nothing friggin' happens. Yeah. That's the spirit? God damn you, rocket power. Alright. It's time to get something useful. Yes, indeedy. The Sky Flyer makes towering heights irrelevant. Use the Gadget Trainer to learn how... Alright, see you next time when we use the Sky Flyer, guys.